way bigger show. Just got some Congo in my volcano. Just wanted you to know. Dang it all, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Or as my mother once said, I'm a rhymer and I don't even know it. Hey folks, how y'all doing today? Another fucking nice day in paradise. Enjoying it in my basement as usual. So welcome to another edition of the Red Beard Show on Pot TV. We got a fun episode ahead of us today. Right off this top, I want to, whoops, drop some glass and I want to thank my sponsors. Thank you, Seed Bank. As always, providing us with the best seeds in the world, from the best breeders in the world, and they ship anywhere in Canada, and anywhere in the world actually, what am I saying, anywhere in the world, anywhere, Antarctica, order your seeds, go get them big. Kind Selections, Beard Brothers Extracts, and the Prairie Mountain Lifestyles. Thank you so much for making such wonderful medicine for us Canadian patients. If you're a Canadian patient, get in touch with those folks. Mmm, delicious. Big thanks to Dirty Dave for making these awesome t-shirts. Got my 100% uh, organic shirt on today. You can get an awesome shirt like this down at the CCHQ at the Mark Gavrilly's uh, headquarters down at Hastings. They got a new shop there within a block of the beach. Here, let me hit a button here. Is this thing even working? Hey, green light, how about that? Son of a bitch, it works. Hey, now I want to thank Remo Nutrients. We're making such amazing nutrients, such good plant food. I am so stoked on how my plants look. I'm sorry they're not with me today. They're in the dark. It's bloody summer out. And as a good grower, I uh, tend to run my lights at night. It's a bit cooler that way. I want to thank AIM Kilns. Look at these beautiful kilns. I am so stoked on these kilns. Happy to be a distributor for AIM Kilns in Canada. This is the Model 99. This is the Model 9169. Brand new models this year with bricks in the doors. I can't tell you enough about how important this is. Bricks in the bead doors. This is super important. This means my kiln ramps down so much slower than my old one. All right, and now not to forget my most amazing addition. So happy to have a beer sponsor. Thank you, 12 Kings Pub. 12 Kings Pub is in Vancouver. If you're on the West Coast, go check them out. They're an amazing sports bar and craft brewery. This week, I am keeping it local in Penticton. This here is the Bad Tattoo Brewery. Enjoying the IPA as usual. I'm always on the India Pale Ale. That's my favorite brew. So big thanks to Armin at the 12 Kings Pub. Get your asses down there for some good times. They are cannabis friendly, but unfortunately you can't smoke inside. Welcome to smoke outside. Prepare it inside. Chop cannabis, smell like cannabis. No one's judging there. So, there's the list. Happy to be here, happy for another day. And uh, what can I tell you, this is part two of the piece we started last week. And uh, this was a piece for uh, a fella, and uh, he actually ordered uh, honeycomb colors, like actual pure honey. And I didn't have those ready in, with me. And I've now since have them in stock. So, I thought, well, maybe this is a practice run for that piece, but either way, I'll just go ahead with this one. What I did was combine two different colored prints and Andromeda print, as well as transparent yellow. And it's a pretty cool effect. Let me show you what I got. Let's pull out the uh, great big goblet foot and show you what that looks like. Kind of a neat effect. The honeycomb is kind of subdued. It looks really natural. I'll show you from this side. And uh, anyway, what I think I might do is uh, this piece here, well, I guess the fellow that made the order gets first dibs, but we got a long time viewer that often logs in under the name Ripple. And that guy broke his dang bomb. Or that bomb broke on him, not that guy's fault. It ended up, had a crack in it and exploded. Now this is the same guy that waited a bloody year for a piece. I was thinking maybe this will go to him, and then I can do the true honey colors for the for the fellow on the order. So, let me just take a second and adjust my view screen if you all don't mind. So I can see the chat, see if you're all there, is it working? Hey, Gearhead asks, is Mrs. Beard in the chat? Nope, it's just me. Just me, myself, and I, Mrs. Beard is off on a course learning how to do more painting. 
of some different technique. So she's off uh, exploring the world, educating herself. I miss her dearly. She's been gone three days. Hot now. Getting lonely. What the hell? All right, folks. Get to work, eh? Who else is in the chat? Cookie Monster. Hey, I built you at a glass. That's pretty weird. What are you doing in the chat? Jordan, nice to see you, brother. Get yourself a vehicle and get your ass out here to the country, will ya? Maybe next week I'll pick your ass up. We'll uh, get you out here, get you on the show, have some fun, do a little collab. Super impressed with your work so far. Jordan is a new glass blower who has basically learned, well, if I may say, a lot by watching the show, and that's the purpose of the show. Have a good time and teach you what the hell we are doing down here in our basements. We're not just smoking lots of pot and listening to good music like old man Ludicky I got on the radio now. We are actually making art and having fun, making a living. So this show is just to give you an insight on what we're doing so you can more appreciate the pieces that you see in your head shops because they take a lot of work, they take a lot of sweat, a lot of blood, a lot of tears. Cut myself pretty good this week. You know, life's an adventure. So, without further ado, let's uh, have a, try a cheers to y'all. Let's get to work, shall we? We're smoking, uh, drinking and smoking out of this amazing mug. Check that out. My Vagabond handle. Stoked on that. Yes, it is a pipe. Of course it is a pipe. We'll smoke that later. A fresh, freshly medicated with my volcano bag. Which I better finish. Okay, so what's up next? We've got, let's look in the kill. Let's get the update. Since you've last seen me, I haven't done any glass blowing. This is, uh, that is exactly how I put, oh, I pulled one point just before the show. So everything on this piece is gonna be built on the show. Uh, I've been busy building uh, buses. Trying so hard to get my 1960 Mercury school bus on the road for summer. And there's a lot of work to do. Because I want it ready for the glass gathering, which is right around the bloody corner. Stoked about that. I'm going to read off a list later on, on a safety break, of all the sponsors. Look at all the freaking sponsors we got. Well, I guess you're seeing the uh, sketch of my window on the back, but anyway, it's a huge list. Platinum, gold, green levels, holy crap. Glass blowing, gathering is taking off. All right, what's next? Okay, so let's show you what we got. This is the tube we made. This be for the inline. I'm gonna leave this bulge out. I was gonna shrink it down to make a perfect cylinder. I think I'm gonna leave it out. And this piece, I'm gonna kind of match up the shape of it. And this piece here will have the downspout attached to it when I put it in. And that downspout will have all the holes placed in it. So now I'm going to make this ball with the downspout. And today I decided I'm pretty much just going to work with clear glass. We're going to get this bad boy together, see how far we can get on the show. And uh, yeah, try to replace uh, Ripple's poor broken bomb. All right, let's do it. So I just grabbed a piece of 32 mil uh, tubing. That's about three inches long as a prep. We'll start with that. That's the ball on the end. I'm using my GTT Delta Mag Torch. This is the Mirage plane. This is the Lynx plane. And then uh, this is the Delta Mag plane. Very amazing heat, I tell you. Alright, so what's new with all of you? Things are good here on the ranch. Got some lovely mail from the Prairie Mountain Lifestyles. Looking forward to eat some medicated beef stew tonight for dinner. Oh, spoiled rotten I am. Not so hard to make medicated food. I suggest you start with coconut oil. Combine that with some shake on the stove, let it simmer for a little while, strain out the shake so you're left with the green coconut oil. And you can use cheesecloth or 
pillowcase, or cotton, anything like that. All right, let's just bolt this out a little bit. So, it's gonna be pretty straightforward, this piece. I think that I will uh, go ahead and attach some 12 mil handle on this now. So the first thing I do is blow a hole in the end. I've got a piece of 12 mil already out. That's a hollow tube. This will be the downspout here. I do need to flare it though. So I'll grab my carbon reamer and we'll give it a bit of a flare. sealing it to the end, nothing fancy, just stick it to the end, make sure that weld is perfectly smooth and even and lovely. And before it closes up, we need to plug this end and give it pump through. Make sure that wall is thinned out somewhat. Just going to change the shape slightly more, heating it up and allowing it to uh, condense down. like that. So just sticking that 12 mil on the end. Like so. Make sure it's centered. Now while it's still soft I can give it a tug up and down on this side to true it up. Just kind of staring at that one side and getting it true. So now we've got to decide how long is this uh, downspout going to be. Well, the best thing to do is to just pull out the vessel that it's going to go in and we'll hold it up next to it and I can kind of mark it with my, with my mind's eye there. And you can also uh, you can set this down for a second here and uh, we, we can mark it with my thumb as well as what I like to do. So I'll just use my thumb. We'll just hold the thumb just like that, marking the spot. Put that back in the kiln. And now, we've got a hollow handle, I might as well just plain cut this piece. So for an inline perk, we put the holes all on the one side, and that side will be on the bottom. Alright, so just bolt that out a bit. Now, popping the holes along the side, what I'm going to do first is bulge the holes up without popping them. It's really important that you do it that way uh, because then, well you'll see, it's really, once you pop four holes, you're blowing like mad just to get the glass to expand. There, we'll bulge it out. Next hole. That Congo is such a strong sativa, I feel like that's what's giving me the shakes. It's like a cup of coffee. The darn African wheat, Jesus Murphy. Okay, let's show the camera real close for a sec. So that's all I'm trying to do, bulge them out ahead of time. I'll go along and pop them all after. So we've got four bulges, it's probably going to be about eight total. Today's show we're focusing on local produce, medicine, and local music. With that in mind, this musician's name is Old Man Ludicky. I had the pleasure of seeing him in Penticton uh, here recently at the Dream Cafe. Big shout out to Dream Cafe. Pierre does a great job bringing in some amazing artists. 
So with that in mind, I also brought uh, a few other CDs that hopefully we get some time to play. Carolyn Barr. And uh, I might have to read the fellow's names. Uh, just so I get it right. Yeah, Jeff Werner. And uh, what's this guy's name again? Yeah, Chris Demeanor and Jeff Werner. The three of those guys played the other night. That's amazing. That's so much fun. And if you're a musician watching the show, send me some of your music. I'd love to play it on the show. And if I don't like your music, well, I'll, I'll still play it, but just not very much of it. <laughs> I, I would play it, for sure. I love artists. Ball strikes. So, popping the holes here. Take more of a long list to go up the uh, number of open holes, so keep your holes small as you pop them. Woo! It's hard to see that last hole, too. And my beard's getting in the way. So what I do is, when you can't see the hole, I'll try to get it to glow. And then while it's glowing, I'll keep it in the flame. Not enough lungs. So what I'll do is pick it open. So I'll grab it with a solid little punty here. We'll just bring it out thinner and thinner. Do that a few times. So if you're having trouble popping your holes, you can do it this way as well. And if you, uh, if it's taking forever picking it open, you can open it with the cutters. I'll show you how. It, or you can just take it, just, just knock off the very end of it there. And now it'll open up. Oh, it did. Just knock off. So just knock that off. It should open right up. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just, I think I'll use my tungsten pick. I'm actually just going to use it as a reamer just to make sure the uh, holes are just the right size. Oh, I missed one. There's still a hole closed here. We better pick that open. don't want the holes too wide open either. It's a fine line between too wide open and not enough. You want the pressure to go all the way down the line. If these first two holes are too big, the smoke will all just come out of those holes. and I'm polishing these holes. Alright, so that's ready. Give it a little bit of a warm up so we can just continue on. What time is it? Oh, it's 4.19. I think we better take a safety break, don't you folks? It's that time of day when we all medicate together as a community. So let's get ready for that. And uh, I picked out this rig for today's show. It's kind of a fun shop piece that Gibson threw together over at my house. And it's an inline as well. This is the part we're making right now. And it's not a Swiss part. What he did there is he's actually trapped, uh, he trapped in a bubble a little, uh, a little pebble and there's water in it now but if you shake it it's kind of like you're trying to make a rattle you can see in the middle there it looks kind of hard to see but there's a little pebble in there Gibson's a lot of fun can't wait to be hanging out with him again at the last garden coming up soon folks June 26 27 28 I hope you're planning on coming out it's gonna be a lot of fun 
We've got all kinds of sponsors this year. Some really great sponsors stepping up. It's a real community event. It's uh, super friendly. It's rustic camping, so make sure you bring your tent and your sleeping bag. And uh, what else do I have to tell you? Five bands, three DJs, catered kitchen. It's going to be dead. It's going to be fun. So, let's let this cool down a ways. Way too hot. So happy 420 to y'all. Happy 421. Redbeard, did I clean my bong? Well, Pogo, thank you for asking. That is a good question. No, I did not. That's why I'm using this one. <laughs> yeah, actually, you should see that. It's Look at that reclaim. Dang, just dripping down the side. One of my favorite reclaim pieces. Oh, I better hit this before it gets too cold. Some wild berry shatter. Oh, it's just fucking delicious. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Smooth. So what was I trying to say there before I started dabbing at the same time as talking? Well. Hit the rewind button, someone. Tell me what I was saying a minute ago. <laughs> it don't matter. It'll come back to me. Usually when I get in the room where I was going to get the thing I needed, then I forget. And then I go back to the shop where I started, and I realize, oh, I'm supposed to get that. So I go back upstairs. I usually do that about four times a day. It's good exercise, I figure, right? Good going up those stairs. I hear you, gearhead. Get to work. The chat's yelling at me. Sound like Milner. Get to work. Alright, well, time to weld these two together, shall we? <coughs> so, you may recall the uh, double bubbler episode if you watched that one. Uh, this is very much the same uh, weld as a double bubbler. Uh, it's making that second chamber, or the third in the case of triple bubbler, but the one with the downspout. Uh, I'm adding the downspout and the top cap at the same time. Another way you could do it is build the uh, downspout separately and then just add an open end bubble, a cup, on the top and then make the seal. Same shit, different file. You know, it's six uh, one way, half dozen another. So, this is the way I prefer. So, we'll do it that way. Because I'm in charge, right? I think I am. And that's all that matters, as long as I think I am. Okay, so this one's on a punty, solid handle. This one's on a hollow handle. Okay? Let's make sure it fits, first of all. It looks a little long. And, no, it's perfect. It's a little, is that, it feels like it might be rubbing. It's pretty close. But I can always uh, stretch it out later again. It looks good. Okay, so. Let's weld that together. That's going to go right on there. Get to work. Okay. Let's change this flame though. It's way too bushy. We need a nice, tight, hot flame for this. And then I'm going to switch to a big, wider, nice, hot flame. Like so. Alright. So, now, remembering this has to go down. If this has a pattern or a spot where I want it to be on the downside, well, now's the time to do that and put it in the right spot there. So, I notice it's got uh, kiln dust on it. Let's polish that off. And I also noticed, you know, I think I'm going to just read this one out. The way it tapers in right here, I don't really like that. I'd rather have it a straight wall. So I'll just take a second and change that. There we go. 
bit more of a straight wall. <coughs> okay, let's do it. I think I'll start with my wide plane, to be honest. Hey, I see a... I see an impurity. What is that? Let's take a look. It's like a little grain, a little kernel. You see it at the very end there? Right there, see it? I don't like it. This little spot right there. It must come out. I don't know, it looks like sometimes you get it in a piece of tubing. It could be a, some piece that I picked up off my bench. But I think more likely it's a, came with the tube. I'm just gonna take a little punty. I'm gonna heat up that spot. Take a look at what it is. It seems to be on the inside. Well, first, I'll see if it burns off clean. See if it's something we need to worry about. Maybe what I'll do is get it red hot and a very light swipe. Got it. Done. So now I'm going to have to get that really liquid if I want to get rid of that slight swipe line. There it is, there, you can see it. Sorry, let me just show it. See that swipe line? Well, it's just barely there, but I plan on liquefying this pretty good, so. Well, let's proceed, shall we? One thing I gotta do where I swiped it is marker it back there so it's round. So I'm just heating it up on the weld spot. I'm just going to stay here for a second, liquefy both sides. working this uh, seam until it's nice and smooth, just like any other weld, really. Waiting for it to set up, waiting for it to uh, 
solidify. We'll take off this punty on this side here. There it goes. In the film. Whoops. Broke my handle. Luckily. So that wasn't so bad. So I got the kiln sitting at uh, about 1050. It goes down to about 1000 as soon as you open the door and it quickly climbs back up. This is what we call a digital annealer. It is so important to have. I can't tell you, I can't stress enough. Uh, just having that precise control over the temperature of your glass makes a higher quality glass. Uh, we go through a ramp cycle at the end of the night. And, uh, yeah, you know, that makes it stronger. Strong like old country, yes? Alright, well, I think I'm gonna smoke out of my beer mug, because that's always fun. That's a good party trip. Got me some East Coast Sour Diesel. One of my favorite strains in the whole world. Pop a little nug in there. The other, my other favorite strain is uh, Sweet Tooth. That's a good one too. So what's next? Uh, hey, it's 4.32. Are we uh, time to give away some seeds there, Vancouver Seed Bank? What do you think? Hey, Shatterbeard's in the chat. Hey, Shatterbeard. Nice to see you over there, my friend. So I hear Shatterbeard's getting himself sorted and, and we'll be accepting orders for his uh, Shatter again uh, one day soon. Is that the... That confirmed? Sounds, that's a rumor. It's a rumor. Mm. Alright, so my favorite way of smoking bowls while I work is just to heat up a bit of glass, bring it close to the herb. Beer mug pipes are a lot of fun. Great party trip. Thanks for helping me build this one, Vagabond. Vagabond and I are going to make a few more of these. If you need one, get at me. we got a list growing. We're going to make a bunch of them. Be the newest kid on the block with the newest beer mug. That's hot, I tell you. Alright, so next up we're going to make a uh, Swiss perk. Now, we've done that before on this show. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. Maybe I'll talk a bit about the sponsors as I do that work. <coughs> the sponsors that step forward for the glass gathering are just amazing. Uh, each and every one of them, uh, I've only selected or, or accepted uh, sponsors that are totally ethical, honest, hardworking folk, and. Uh, yeah, I just really hope that people support these businesses that support us, right? We got uh, these things go around and around. You know, we got sponsors all the way from the east to the west. So, thank you so much to all of them. So, let's get started on the Swiss perk piece. Uh, I think back here, Seed Bank's giving away some seeds in the uh, chat room there. So, if you're uh, able to join the chat room, or if you want to check out the genetics of Vancouver Seedback, uh, check out their website, VancouverSeedback.ca. So, clean off this piece. So this is 50 by 5. That's some big tubing, so I don't need a big, too big a piece of this. But I'll just peel off about, ah, I guess it's about 4 inches, about 100 millimeters. Funny how uh, it's mixed with the Imperial and the Metric. Part of my brain is Imperial and I'm just a walking conversion chart, I guess. Wish we just frickin' pick one and, and stick with it, eh? But, uh, well, diversity, eh? Diversity in the old metric system. It's good for us. It's good for us. Oh, time for a new CD, too. So, pull this point first. So when I'm pulling points, 
points, the secret is to stare at this one. And this one is the one with the tube in my hand. Not the finished prep. Just look at this one. And forget this one even exists. And that's that's my little secret that uh, Sipo passed on to me. And it's kind of unconsciously you pull it straight. If that's your only concern. And see how I'm cutting this one off right away. So it doesn't matter but if this one's crooked. So even if you're going like this. And you're staring at this one. But you usually can pull a straight point. That's my tip of the day. Alright. Now let's pop the end of this tube. Always leave your tube with a hole in the end. Nothing like going to use a prep and it's closed off. All kinds of weird things happen. Oh yeah! So for this year's glass gathering, we've had such amazing response from the sponsors that I've actually had to create uh, a few different levels of sponsorship just to give recognition for how much some of these sponsors are giving. Uh, it's really amazing uh, uh, that they're able to do that and, uh, and they're putting back from whence they came, you know, contributing back to the community that they love. So I just want to say that all of these sponsors are. So that right off the top, thank you from my heart and thank you on behalf of all the people attending the Glass Gather. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you're going to have to bear with me as I do this. I'm going to do this every bloody week from now to the gathering, and I'm probably going to do it a week after the gathering too, because it's so important that these companies get mentioned, because uh, they're really awesome. So right up, the, the Platinum sponsors, I want to tell you about Sublimator. Enrico has been the Platinum sponsor for so many events across Canada. Uh, it's a testament to his, uh, his personality, for one, always wanting to contribute to his community, as well as how well his product is doing, and that says something as well. Uh, it, the sublimator is a fantastic product. Uh, it sublimates not just volcano, not just uh, vaporized, but it actually sublimates as well. There's science involved, I guess. And anyway, I'm stoked to have sublimator on board. Platinum fucking sponsor. Skunk Funk, it's his second year as a, as a platinum sponsor. Skunk Funk him, uh, Smokers Emporium is a head shop in Saskatoon. A small head shop. They're not rich by any means. They're they're struggling. They're making a living. They're doing great things with their community. Um, Jeff is a water guy. He also hosts the Prairie Cup. I'll be there this year in October. We'll be live on Pot TV from there. So uh, yeah, Skunk Funk and the Prairie Cup Platinum sponsors. They're going to be buying all of our oxygen this year, which is a huge bill. I just got to tell you, it's just massive. And uh, big thanks to Skunk Funk for that. Uh, Beard Brothers, Beard Brothers Concentrate, and soon to be, really are called also, the Beard Brothers Society, because the Beard Brothers are going to be accepting new patients, they can uh, not just stri deal straight with the dispensaries, but if you're a registered Canadian patient, you can order on Beard Brothers directly, and uh, anyway, they're doing great and have amazing products with award-winning selections. So a testament to their equipment and their knowledge. Good brothers, rocking it. So those are our platinum sponsors at this time. Oh, I should note that we're uh, accepting more sponsors as well. And just for the next couple days, the deadline is Monday. Uh, we go into the printer on Monday. All the sponsors will be on the t-shirts, the posters, the handbills, the tickets, all that stuff, you know? Okay, so right here in front of me, I'm just blowing a bubble as I chatter on about these sponsors and I'm slowly gathering, I'm pushing my hands together just slightly. Now I'll add some hair. I'm looking for a fairly round bubble. It doesn't need to be huge. I think I better keep it thick. This looks pretty good right where it is actually. I think I better keep it thick so it don't break no more, no more, you know? Okay, so uh, i got to flatten this. There's a couple ways of doing it. I think I'll just marver it down on my pad in front of me. If it was any bigger, I would grab a 12 by 12 carbon plate and just use that to match. Oh, shoot. I still might. Oh, and I cut myself too. A good one. 
pretty good one. No band-aids on board either. I think they're upstairs. So we get to just bleed out. We're just going to bleed till it stops. <laughs> so the first thing I got to do is put a new handle on that. I'll show you. I'll show you the wound. Dripping blood. Spraying blood all over the bench. Uh, let's see if I got any duct tape. I usually have electrical tape for my uh, or hockey tape for my uh, blowholes and swivel. I got one of those. Don't worry, folks. I'm not yelling red alert, so we're safe. Hey, look at that. Where there's tape, there's hope. We'll just tape it off. I'm going to set this in the kiln. The kiln's a great tool for that. While I uh, gush blood here, you guys want another view? So there it happened. We were joking around in the chat room about how maybe some of you are just waiting for uh, Redbeard to burn himself or cut himself. Like It's like watching NASCAR. It happens. I usually have a few band-aids in, but I actually know I, I don't now. I just use them up. I cut myself a lot. I'm fairly clumsy in life. Add glass and a torch. It's pretty good. But luckily I got strong immune system. Strong like old country. There we go. You guys did. Okay, where were we? Safety break? I tell ya, it happens. Oh, well, maybe I'll put some music on too right now. It's awfully quiet in the shop, you know? So hold on, folks. Let's see who we got up next. Up next, we have the lovely Carolyn Mark. Carolyn Mark, I guess, hails from Vancouver Island. Pretty fun gal. Really fun music. Give her a listen. Let's get back to work. I think I'll be alive. I think I'll, be, I'll survive here. I can feel my, uh, I got a nice and tight. Feel my pulse a little bit there. So, let's put a nice strong handle on this. Straighten it first. I noticed it's, it wasn't true on my punty, so I just heated this part up enough to straighten it out. Now I can remove this. And this is all hot, so I better use a tool. The best tool is uh, these diamond shears. Just, just kind of crimping it down right there. Wiggle till it snaps. And now we can throw our strong like old country handle on. There we go. That's all it takes. I think I'll give that a pop, even out the wall. Having a nice even wall throughout the piece definitely helps for cracking, especially during assembly. The kiln will take care of any issues after you're done assembly. So now that I got this on a strong handle, I'm going to remove the punty. Change my mind with the way I'm going to flatten this. We're going to go with the... Uh, move everything aside. Grab my Kevlar and just sweep this uh, graphite pad off. Over here, I've got me a great big, great big 12 by 12 carbon pad. And that's what I think I'll use to, to smash this plug. So, give it a quick dust over here. I think the 
Bunty will help actually. I'll put that back on. Okay, so we got a marble that's flat. That means we better get it pretty darn hot. Hot enough to move anyway. Alright. That's got some heat into it. I think I'll just throw the putty up there. Grab my bag.
one test to know if you got the hole closed. Yep. Give it a little puff inside. So the hole's closed, now we just gotta ream it out smooth. No big deal.
gonna check and make sure that this thing's even filming. Uh, yeah, green light. Hey, thanks for still being with me, folks. Sometimes it occurs to me that I might just be, you know, talking to the wall here by myself. Glad to know you're all out there with me. We're all in this together. Did you feel my pain when I cut myself? Man. I think that's gonna be pretty funny, actually. There you go. All right, so I think we better put this in the kill. You know what time it is. Time for a safe break. I got some Beard Brothers concentrate I've been saving for this show. And where are you now? Oh, did I smoke all of you? Or it's upstairs. <clears throat> well, it's a good thing I've got kind selections nearby. Some unopened packages here, even. Yeah, let's go with this. I've already had it out. The Wildberry Shatter. I guess it's today's. Shatter of the day, shatter of the week. Wildberry shatter from Kind Selections. Love this one. It's just like blueberry to me. Beautiful taste. I'm ready for a nice big dab. My nail's all oxidized. I think I hit it a little too hot from the oxy last time. So, how about that? Got some more sponsors to tell you about. Gold level sponsors of the glass gather. This level has also contributed just quite a bit, quite a bit more than uh, everyone else. They just need a little special recognition as well. And that is the next level. And they have a shop in Calgary, or I believe it's in Calgary. Uh, sorry, I'm not too familiar with the uh, central uh, Canada. But uh, yeah, the, the next level has been a sponsor of the Glass Gathering for several years. They always uh, throw down huge, and I really appreciate that. They have one of the headiest collections and uh, stores in Canada, and that's the next level. Let's get my dome on there. Oh, oh get my dab ready too, I'm a little behind here. Good thing that nail's hot, I got some time. We'll just use this. I think we'll do this whole piece. That's pretty big. Better be careful there, that's a big one. So, uh, the next level, Crop King Seeds. Man, I don't think they need much introduction at all, eh? They are also mega sponsors around Canada. Big time signs at 420 in Toronto and Vancouver. As well, Pop, supplier of our glass. It's super great with all of us artists. Thank you very much, Pop. I see. Oh, I just saved myself a hair dab. A little shop break works great. Thanks, Gibson. He left that behind one day, he came over for a visit. Now the rest of the uh, gold level sponsors, Dirty Dave Limited. Dirty Dave's making, uh, I think, 120 shirts for uh, for all of us, and uh, we're going to sell those to raise money to cover our costs. And so those are going to be super limited edition. Get yours at the site. Won't be any uh, mail orders or nothing it's for those of us that actually go to the event. Oh yeah, and actually, I'll bet you if you contact Dirty Dave. He'll make up a shirt for you. Order direct from Dirty Dave if you can't come to the venue. He's also making up some uh, uh, red beer glass shirts, which is pretty cool. Canadian Concentrate Open. There's an open right now happening, I believe, tonight in Vancouver. These guys are super supporters of the uh, uh, current legal cases in Canada, the, the Coalition uh, to Save Our Gardens, as well as the Extracts case with uh, Owen Smith. So uh, Canadian Concentrate Open has a full list of their own sponsors and uh, with the glass gathering they are going to have their own uh, shatter or whatever you want to call it, uh, Concentrate's uh, cup. It's a cannabis cup basically. That's going to be a contest that's going to be happening in conjunction at the same time and during and inside of the gathering. So that's pretty cool. Super 
super limited in, uh, number of tickets. So that's uh, really gonna be really hard to get a hold of, I tell you. Uh, let's see, who else? Hempies, Langley, I love you, Randy Kane. You're the best. You're so supportive of your artists and your staff. Uh, man, Randy Kane's just like, Randy Kane for mayor. Randy Kane for fucking prime minister. Uh, Hempies is such an awesome store. They're in Langley. We got a Willowbrook location. We got a White Rock location. If you're on the West Coast, please support these companies. Whether you're wherever you are, I bet you you can call them up and order from your hometown. Anyway, I appreciate their support. So in turn, I encourage your support with them. Ippa! We'll cover the Green Level sponsors later. All that talking's got me thirsty. That was a pretty big dab. Smooth though. Wow. Super smooth. So I want to show you the label on this. This is a pretty cool label. I like kind of the, I believe it, hopefully the artist is, was uh, First Nations. But this is Bad Tattoo. It kind of looks like a raven or some kind of critter. Bad Tattoo Brewery in Penticton with their uh, IPA, now what's it called? West Coast IPA. That's pretty original name. But it's a really good beer. They make good pizza too. Nice little spot. So, I want to thank my beer sponsor for enabling me to wipe the sweat off my brow and enjoy a cold brew on a hot fucking day in the Okanagan. So, uh, Life is good, you know, when you got a fucking beer sponsor. I think I've now attained a new fucking level of happiness. I have a beer sponsor. Cheers. And wheat sponsors. Ash sponsors. Beef stew sponsors. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Alright. Get the beer off my mustache and get to work, eh? So what's next on this piece? Well, we need a mouthpiece to put all the top on this together. So the mouthpiece is going to be fairly straightforward. I just need to uh, take a piece of tube and I'm just going to shrink out the middle a little bit. Probably leave it like a fairly cylindrical. I could put some Maria's in it. Uh, that would be something to do. Maybe we'll do that. Should we do that? Uh, we could just put a, a bulge at one end and one at the other. One thing that you got to do when you're making pipes is, uh, I honestly think about this because I've regrettably made a few of them and they actually didn't sell. And here's the tip of the day. Uh, you know, a niche market, I guess, if you want to go for it. But uh, I haven't had much luck with uh, pipes that end up looking like dicks. Like the, the cock pipe just, it don't, it doesn't really move off the shelf well. Uh, so. You gotta be careful how you shape those Marias at the lip of the top of the, of the bog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, enough said on that. But Jesus, I bet you stores out there sell a lot of cock pipes. Actually, I've been asked a hundred fucking times to make cock pipes, but I don't blow the cock. I just don't do it. Uh, it's not my taste, you know. I could sculpt cock. I could probably, you know, dildos. I made a bunch of dildos. So solid, I sculpt cock. But blowing cock, it's just not up my alley. And I guess I just... Anyway, that joke's a little... Time to move on. Let's make a mouthpiece. Top for this piece. So... How big? That's 38 mil. I'm just kind of testing. It kind of feels good on the mouth, like that would be a nice mouthpiece for a bone. So we could just take a piece of that and slam it on there. Uh, I think I'll go on a bit of 32 mil. And uh, I don't know, it's no fun making a, just a simple straight piece. Should we do something fun? Should we just like do something off the wall and something different? Yeah, yes I think we should. Yes, yes indeed I think we should. Okay, so. I'm not telling you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it. Oh, there's a piece of glass I'll use right there in front of me. I like the looks of that one. Look, it's ready to go. I love it when you find the tube ready to go. Alright. I guess we better clean it. Make sure you clean your glass well before you use. Alright. Well, it's also 
the fun when you got a big blob of uh, <laughs> a big dab stuck to the blow pipe. It's like when you when it goes around in your hand, it like sticks to you. So it actually is a pain in the ass and interrupts the spin. Oh, but look at what I have here. I happen to have some Vancouver's own homegrown product. Look at this shit. The Resin Buster. This is the best bong cleaner I've ever fucking used. I swear to God. And it's great to just get a little bit of dabs off my uh, blow pipe. So I'm just gonna grab this sweater here behind me because that's all I got nearby. And I'm just gonna wipe that off. Fucking A. Now that's flammable, so I won't set it in front of the kiln. But yeah, that's an awesome bomb cleaner. Now I don't have that problem anymore. And did I mention they're sponsoring the glass counter? <laughs> I gotta talk about the green level sponsors too yet. We're gonna go over that list as I get funky on the top of this bomb. Because this is gonna be fun. I, gotta, I know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be something. I hope it works. I actually haven't done this in a while. A little party trick I used to do sometimes. Okay, so on the green level sponsor, now this is what most people donate, like it's just an amazing amount, like uh, I'm really uh, impressed already. It's all small businesses that we pretty much deal with, and uh, I'll just do it over fairly quickly, and maybe a quick one line about each company, because they're all amazing. Liquid Chrome, uh, store in Ontario, look them up, they got one of the most amazing collections of glass for sale, headies, uh, in Canada, hands down. No doubt about it, liquid chrome. Uh, Ignite, hey, exactly, same thing. From the pictures, I think Ignite is not far behind. If indeed there's any behind. Uh, Big Thanks, Glass Alchemy and North Star. Those are the companies that make our glass color. So we're gonna have pounds of color. Uh, hopefully we'll have tag on board as well, that's Troutman. But right now, Glass Alchemy and North Star are confirmed. Super thankful to them. Uh, CCHQ and Pot TV sponsoring this event. Pot TV will be broadcasting live all weekend. Uh, Jeremiah will be in the house. Opus will be in the house. We'll have Tracy, well, Tracy Curley, I believe, is coming. Not sure. We've got, uh, uh, I'm not sure if uh, Marijuana Man is coming up or not. I'm not sure how many people are coming, but Pot TV definitely will be there. Um, support Canada's Culture Headquarters. They've got two locations now. They actually had a break in at their location last week, so Mark Emery's Cannabis Culture Headquarters broke it into, like, who, who the fuck would do that? Like, have some respect for the people that do so much for our community and movement. That's just disgusting. I hope that that uh, method is found and convicted, or at least uh, got some help and some treatment so they stop the problem at its source. Uh, also want to thank Andrew Getty Glassworks for doing such a great job of providing us glass every year since we started. Andrew Getty, Joanne Andrew Getty is a soft glass worker, so she knows what she's talking about. She sells supplies out of Vancouver, and uh, it's, she's a lovely option to get your materials and tools. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to pause on the sponsor list. We have detained liquid status. You can get a D-bit 
like bones deep in the glass and and you can't remove it. That is that does happen. But uh, you really got to be stressing the glass out for that to happen. All right, so that's fun. Oh, can you see what I did there? It's just like a fun little loop de loo. I think I could do a little more with it. Maybe I'll just heat it up over here a second. Kind of coil it up, straighten it up a bit. Straighten it up a little bit. And I'll stick on that Swiss perk. And we'll stick the Swiss perk on the on the uh, bottom. Pale. 
So I, I won't know what it is, but I'll at least give it a, a rating. This was a cannabis cup that was held in uh, Vancouver a couple months ago. So I guess that's a decent looking entry. Let's see what it tastes like. So uh, it needs me a little better of a diver. Oh, there's a good one. I like these twisty cakes. That's my favorite dabber right there. Well, I don't know how big of a sample this is, but let's say we try about half of it. Well, it's definitely uh, not shattered. As you can see, quite a bit of uh, it's soft. It's pretty hot in the shop today, but anyway, the uh, kind selections are shattered. Still, temperature shouldn't affect them. Alrighty, let's try it out. Nice big dab. So, let me tell you about the rest of the sponsors for the glass gathering. Because all of these companies have donated stuff, some money to help me cover costs, some things to give away. I'm going to promote them hard. These are great companies that are supporting the arts, supporting our gathering and our artists. So, uh, next on the list, Vancouver fucking Seed Bank. Love you guys. Rebecca and crew are just the most amazing folks. Uh, they do so much for our community. They sponsor so many things. I uh, also want to thank a fella right down the street, Mr. Mouse Trippy Strings in Vancouver. Makes, uh, he's a small company, makes the uh, wax pick strings. We'll be at the gathering again this year. Oh, there's my phone. want to thank Remo Nutrients. You know all about Remo. They'll be at the gathering and thank you for sponsoring. Remo Nutrients in the house. Boss Vapor Company from the Prairies. Vancouver's own homegrown products. I told you about them. Best palm cleaner I have ever freaking used, I swear. Uh, Nortel Manufacturing. We're going to be giving away torches this year, folks. That's right. I believe it's plural. Torches. Great Gardener, super amazing seed breeder, award winning. They'll be at the gathering. Oh, he can't come to the gathering. He's going to be at another festival, but he is sending goodies and sponsorship. Thank you so much, Matt Baron. Uh, Vape on the Lake, as always. Thank you, Vape on the Lake in Toronto. Those guys are rocking. Higher Society, thank you, Seamus. Awesome gear there. Higher Society's got amazing glass, supports all Canadian artists. Check them out. Karma Cup taking place in October, Ontario, Toronto. I'm coming. I'll be there. Can't remember the date. Sometime in October. I'll be there. Medman Seeds. Now, I've seen some amazing samples of Medman Seeds. And I can't wait to get more in my garden. Uh, serious. Wow. Medman Seeds. Like, and the guy's really compassionate and really contributes back to this community. So we're going to have tons of seeds to get well. Not metric tons. We are going to have a lot of seeds to give away. And the last one I'll mention right now on the right now, Brindle Farms, who uh, unbeknownst to me, uh, loves to contribute to the community. They're new and I know of, and they'll be bringing some pretty cool dab uh, supplies, like dab pads and some dabbers and different things. And anyway, I want to thank them for their support. They're going to come up and uh, meet everyone and introduce their new company to us. So, uh, that's the sponsorship. It's like freaking NASCAR, eh? Awesome. Stoked. Yeah, Genic Nortel. Gearhead's talking about him in the uh, chat room. Genic Nortel is amazing. An elderly lady who's just, well, I'm elderly. I don't know how old she is, so she's like my age at least. I'll just say that. So, uh, anyway, she's wonderful. She's 
got the knowledge, Peter the Torchmaker, cutest couple ever. Support Nortella if you're on the east. And I wouldn't be without, I better mention my own sponsors again, Vancouver Seed Bank, Con Selections, Beer Brothers, Concentrate, and we got Prairie Medicinal Lifestyles. Thanks for that medicine, guys. Dirty Dave, Wicked Shirts, Remo Nutrients, Wicked Newts. I got my AIM Kiln sponsor, and now a beer sponsor, 12 Kings Pub. I think we're going to assemble the rest of this kiln on the next show, folks. But I'll show you one more time what we're dealing with. I love this, like, swing jazz she's got going on here. Got to be. That reminds me, we'll have the Tall Brothers playing in the gallery. Total of five bands, Tall Brothers, Walk On Dead, that's a dead cover band, Doja from Vancouver, Will Ross, also from Squamish, and we got Magic in the Woods, they're a local Birkin band. It's going to be an epic time, and I'm going to tell you all about it again next week, and the week after, and the week after, because we're getting ready for the Great Canadian Glass Gallery, and we're building bombs, and we're having a good time. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Bear Show on Pop TV. We'll be here next week. I might be on the road next week. I'm not sure. I haven't quite figured out the details, but a really good chance that the next show is on the road. Not in my bus, but in my new Cummins diesel truck. We're powering over the mountain. It's going to be a good time. I'll see you next week, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Love y'all.